Alright guys, so as you can see, we're in a different setting today. I usually do film on my bed, but I haven't done it because the cat is actually lying down on it and I don't want to disturb her, so that is why. But in saying that, I am wanting to try to change up my videos a little bit just because I feel like it's a little bit boring when I'm just sitting on my bed talking. So I'm trying to come up with some ideas on how to make this more exciting for you guys. I'm sorry if I sound out of breath. I literally like went to the shops and did all my shopping and then like ran to make this video because today is a busy day for me. So I wanted to get this done for you guys. It's been a while since I've made a video. I'm not going to make any excuses about it. I mean, it's just been a very busy season with Christmas coming around the corner. So that is probably why I haven't been filming. And I haven't really felt like any kind of inspiration either, which is kind of a bummer. I do have some ideas written down, but I just didn't feel like any of them really interested me enough to make a video. So initially I was going to discuss 30 points about being in your 30s. And I do have 30 things to talk about, but I didn't want this video to be long. So I'm kind of just going to go right through the list and make it one of those quick videos where you can just have a listed sort of idea about what it's like to be in your 30s and some of them might be kind of tips on what to do before you actually hit your 30s so i hope you guys enjoy this video so first and foremost you stop caring about what anybody else thinks of you the opinion of others doesn't matter it's everything to do with how you feel and your confidence level and i definitely think that when you hit your 30s your confidence in yourself and your love for yourself really does get better I guess and you don't worry so much about what others think too you start to check out both the young and the old guys and by young I mean obviously legal age and older guys you know whatever age you're into I guess you check ring fingers on men your friend circle gets very small surprise surprise but some of you guys will not be married in your 30s I'm 35, I'm not married yet. Yes, I do have a partner. It's very recent though, so I don't see that happening anytime soon. But I thought I would be married in my 20s. I thought I would have kids in my 20s. I don't have either of them. So some of you will not be married and will not have children until later in life, if that's what you want. You start to take care of yourself better mentally and physically. You become more of a minimalist and in certain areas i know some people are hoarders and some people love to collect certain things but you do start to realize what's important what you really need and what's cluttering your house you cannot stay up late anymore you can try i think i've pushed it to probably 2 a.m but anything after that i need to sleep your relationship with god becomes more important than anything it's just on a deeper level so if you are spiritual it really helps you get through lots of things that happen that are negative it really helps you appreciate life and be positive about it so personally that's something that i've really enjoyed you become more comfortable in who you are and you don't make excuses about it also you start to build people up i've never been the type to bring people down anyway but you become more of a cheerleader for people because at the end of the day they're them and you are you and what you do is what matters to you and their success should be celebrated as well as yours. Your favorite artists remain the same and hear me out. I don't listen to the radio. Those artists that you grew up with are the ones that you continuously listen to. And if your favorite artist releases an album or something like that, of course you're gonna go and listen to their new stuff. But your favorite artists tend to be the same throughout, for example, Mine, Eminem, is probably my most prominent one because he is basically someone I grew up with in the 90s and he's still around so I still love him. He's still my absolute favourite artist of all time. You also start to complain about today's music not being as good as the music that you grew up with. Obviously this could be a nostalgic theme or it could be because the music's actually really bad. But you start to understand your parents because your parents felt exactly the same way. This next one I actually saw on uh, Patricia Bright's video, one of the videos that she did. And she talks about how you still look young. Like you don't look old. I feel like when you're young, when you're in your teens, you tend to think that 30 is old like you tend to think that when you hit 30 your life is done like you're supposed to have kids and be married and that you get old and it's not true obviously 
genetics has to do with it. Obviously, like how you take care of yourself has to do with it, but I get told that I look like I'm in my 20s still. So I just want to say that that's common. Like it's not something that is like, oh, I feel so good about myself because I look young. When you're 30, you're not old. You still look like you're in your 20s. And obviously take care of your skin. That's, that's probably my number one tip to stay young and youthful. Being an adult does not mean that you have everything together. You don't have all your shit together. Honestly, we make it up as we go. You hated what your body looked like when you were young, and now you wish you had that body. So appreciate what you have right now if you are younger than 30. You wear less makeup. You don't care about missing out anymore. To be honest, I've never cared about missing out, but when you're in your 30s, you really don't care. You will say no to somebody, and you don't have to make an excuse. You just say, hey, I don't actually wanna go out. I don't care if I'm gonna miss out. I'd rather be comfortable and do my thing because I'm tired. You start to treat yourself. You know, you're your own partner. You start to feel good about spending money on yourself, on massages and clothes and stuff, and it feels good. It's like you're giving yourself gifts. In your 30s, it is okay to take a break, to take a breather. To just say to people that you don't want to see them, that you just want to chill and be by yourself, and that's completely fine. I guess this is more of a tip too. You can do this in your 20s as well, but I feel like when you're in your 30s, you stop giving a crap and you just start doing you. You realize that relationships are more than just that butterfly feeling, that it has to do with commitment and not just love. Love is a choice, so you choose to love this person every day. It is not a feeling. And when you're in your 30s, you start to understand that and you start to really realize that you can choose to be with someone you start to use your head a little bit more i'd like to think so but i definitely feel like that is where i'm at you learn the importance of growth you learn that it's really important to learn things and to grow and to read and to research and all of these things make you a better person and you make you a lot, a lot smarter and a lot wiser you don't have any time for petty drama you realize that some people will be bitter about your growth as a person and about your glow up. The next one is more of a tip and that is to start saving for a house early on. So in your teens, when you start working, open up an extra account and start to put money in there. It doesn't have to be a lot because if you're saving from when you're young, you can save $50 from every paycheck and you will have a lot of money by the time you are my age. But unfortunately, I didn't do that. So now I'm saving to buy a house and houses are insanely expensive here so that is a tip start saving early it's time to get out of your comfort zone you realize that family time is super important because not only are you getting older but so are your parents and we tend to forget that so try and spend as much time with your family and your parents as possible and make the most of it mistakes make you stronger and mistakes make you wiser you realize that you've got to work for what you want. You can't just sit around daydreaming, hoping that God is going to place your dream on your lap. You actually have to get up and do something about it. Finance becomes a huge deal. And you start to realize that you probably should have learned more about finance and money when you were younger. Be kinder to yourself. Stop putting pressure on yourself. Let things go and love yourself. The final one, point 30, is going to go with point 29, which is kindness. Kindness over everything. When you're in your 30s, hopefully, I'm saying hopefully because there are people who are probably really mean and rude and they stay that way forever until they die. But kindness to me is the most important thing to do for others. Being kind costs nothing. Being kind to people makes their day and you never know what someone's going through. So being kind will actually make a difference in their lives as well. So it also gives you clear skin. So guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I am sweating like Ace Ventura in the rhino. Cut on these rhinos. Warm. Okay. So that is it for this video. Like I said, it's very quick and short. It's probably longer than I thought it was going to be because I did explain a little bit, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun coming up with this list. Like I said, some of it is just things that I've learned in my 30s, things that I do in my 30s, and things I wish 
that I knew by the time I hit my 30s. So I hope you guys enjoyed all of these points. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm and I appreciate you guys so much. I love you. Ciao.